Welcome back, friends. I'm so excited that we get to worship together today. And in this part of the Big God story, we're going to hear one of my very favorite Bible stories. But before we jump in, let's pray. Father, thank you for gathering us together today, and thank you for your love. Would you open our hearts to see the way that you care for your children? In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, today we have a brand new memory verse, and it comes from Psalm 20, verse 7, and it says this, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. So we're going to practice this new memory verse with a brand new song. trust in chariots and some in horses some trust in chariots and some in horses yeah some trust in chariots and some in horses some trust in chariots and some in horses yeah
4110. Wow, you guys, that was so fun. I love that we can sing God's words right back to Him. Now, we're going to take a deep breath and quiet our hearts so that we can hear one really amazing story about how God cares. Elijah the prophet spoke to Ahab, the evil king of Israel, and gave him a message. There will be no dew or rain for the next few years unless I command it. This will certainly happen. Oh no! Then God told Elijah to go to a place near a stream. God said the ravens would provide food for Elijah to eat. So Elijah obeyed God. The ravens brought him bread and meat, and he drank water from the stream. After a while, the stream dried up because there was no rain in the land. Then God told Elijah to go to a small village. God said a widow in the town would provide for Elijah. So Elijah obeyed God. When Elijah got to the gate of the city, he saw a widow gathering wood. He called to her, please bring me a little water so I can drink. As she went to get it, he added, please bring me a piece of bread too. But the women told Elijah, I don't have bread. I only have a little bit of flour and oil. The woman and her son were planning to eat one more meal before they died from hunger. Don't be afraid, Elijah said. Go and prepare the meal, but first bring me a small loaf of bread. Then make some for yourself and your son. God says you will not run out of flour or oil until rain comes again. So the woman prepared the meal. She, Elijah, and everyone in her household had enough to eat, and she did not run out of flour or oil, just like the Lord had said. Sometime later, the woman's son got sick, and he stopped breathing. Elijah took the boy upstairs and laid him on the bed. He cried out to God, stretched himself out over the boy three times, and cried out to God again. Lord, my God, please let this boy live again, Elijah prayed. The Lord listened to Elijah, and the boy's life came into him again. He was alive. Elijah led the boy to his mother. She said to Elijah, Now I know you are a man of God and the Lord really does speak through you. God miraculously provided through Elijah to give food to the widow and life to the widow's son. Many years later, God miraculously provided through his own son, Jesus. Jesus is greater than Elijah. In Jesus, God provides salvation and life to everyone who trusts in him. Wow, you guys, isn't that a great story? I think of that story a lot of times when I need a reminder that God cares for me. Okay, well, that's all we have planned for you today. We're so glad you were here, and I hope that you'll be back here next week because you know that we'll be here, okay? All right, I'll see you then. Bye.